I'm Helen. I was brought up in a Christian family, so I went to church with my mum and dad and brothers and sisters. Um, and I really appreciate being brought up in a Christian family, but I guess I wouldn't say like it automatically gave me a faith. Um, you have to kind of work that one out for yourself. Well, my sister, she invited me along to a youth event, and I thought, oh, you know, why not? There may be, be some cute boys there. So that was my incentive, really, for getting me into there. And I remember sort of joining in with the service and singing the worship songs, and then all of a sudden, I just broke down in tears. And I really didn't really quite get what was happening at the time. I was just hugging my sister, and I was crying, and I was like, ah. But I think in that moment, I was just encountering a God of like love and forgiveness and mercy. And, you know, he wasn't this God of condemnation that I thought he was. He was a God who actually wanted relationship with me. So that was about 10 years ago. And I think, and after that moment, I was filled with so many questions. I was like, I just want to know more about Jesus. I want to know what it means to follow Jesus. And I went to a few conferences and every time I went to a conference there'd always be like an altar call and I'd be like, come over, you want to give your life over to Jesus? And I did that about 10 times. Um, but I think, yeah, i just been on a constant journey of learning more and more about what it means to follow Jesus. And I went to Bible college and learned about sort of theology and the sort of rationality behind my faith and wrestled out the big questions and never really looked back. I want to get about tires now because I think it's about time. <laughs> it's been 10 years now and I've put it off for 10 years. Um, I'm not from a tradition that baptised, I like, did the full dunking experience, but I think ever since I've seen it, I've just thought that's like what I want to do in my life. I want to give like the whole of my life over to Jesus. And I know that sometimes in my faith I can want to hold on to things. I think like, a big thing for me is like people pleasing and fearing people, like I have all this passion for Jesus but sometimes it gets a bit held back because I'm worried about what people will think of me and but I just want to like give that all over to God and be like do what you want with me um, and so I think baptism is a really good step in that, it's public, it's vulnerable, it's scary but I think for me it's a really good sort of place to sort of yeah say God I want you to be number one in my life. I want to be, I, I want to be used by God. I want to be used by God. <laughs> I do, like, I just want to be used to be a good lover of people. I want to be good at sharing God with people as well. Like I was saying, like, I can be really fearful about what people think of me. And yeah, I feel like I found the secret to life and I want to be good at just getting that out. And I work with teenagers, I work with youth. I want to be good at sort of sharing that with them and journeying with them in that one because it's so big and it's so life-changing and I love knowing Jesus and it gives me so much purpose and meaning and life and hope and I want to be good at sharing that with the world.